Good morning, everybody. Afternoon, whatever. Welcome back to the channel. Today, today, well, I'm happy today. I am at a feedlot in Thamesville, and they're making corn silage. And I thought I'd come out and do a video because a lot of people don't really know what whole plant corn silage is. And it starts out looking a lot like this right here. And actually, I'm going to get Jeff to tell us the story here in a minute. He's just getting caught up. What they're doing is packing this silage with two tractors. And to make good silage, the key is to get the oxygen out of the pile. And that, that's a challenge. You haven't even got time to get out of the tractor, do you, Jeff? Well, we're getting behind, but we'll always make time. So I've got Jeff Vanderboys here, Ben Rabies here today. Tell us about the silage, Jeff. Well, I guess all we do is take the entire plant and grind it up into, I guess, three quarter inch pieces and put it through a kernel processor and put it up in a pile and pack it. And it uh, makes up about 50% of our feed rations for the entire year. So it's a important to get it packed yeah yeah two things you got to make sure you got it roughly around the right moisture i mean there is a window there but uh get it up good and green and get her packed good and tight that's pretty much the name of the game so how many acres will you put in this pile depending on the year we got a bit of a poor corn crop this year so it'll likely be about 320 acres um, we're usually around that 300 acre mark just depending, but we keep a load count, so we have a pretty good idea of the tonnage that we're putting up every year, and uh, yeah, we try to stay consistent. Everybody's got poor corn this year. Yeah, yeah. I mean, some places are worse than others, but uh, I think we got fortunate sometime back in uh, August with a good inch and a half rain, and that was a crop saver, because it wasn't looking good at all. You can plant the best seed, fertilizer, uh, fungicide, anything you want to do, but if it doesn't rain, yeah. she's not there. No, it's the most important part. And it's all out of our hands. But oh well, we were pretty uh, thankful for what we've got right now. So. It looks good. It's. Yeah. I think it's a little finer this year than normal, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Is your new harvester cut a little better than the old one? Yeah, it definitely does. That was kind of the biggest reason why we went to the laws, but uh, the biggest thing too is the kernel process. Oh, the, the old one didn't have a kernel process. It did, but it didn't work properly, oh. so half the time we took it out. But now, like, if you go grab a handful out of that pile, every single kernel's got it. Like, we'll look, have a look. Yeah. And I won't take much of your time, Jeff. I know uh, I see the loads are coming. Yeah. Fast and furious. <laughs> yeah, I got that right. But when you look through there, like, everyone's at least scored, if not kind of ground right down. Um, so, yeah, that's the only reason. Well, with 850 the, corn, yeah, you got to make every kernel count. You got that right. We don't like seeing a full kernel in the because then it'll be in the manure. Exactly. Yeah. And that's not a good thing. <laughs> no, no, they didn't get the full potential out of it. So, but yeah, you got to make the best uh, best feed possible. So I guess we tried to make one step in the right direction. Well, silage is kind of a universal cattle feed. Like you can feed it to young cattle, finishing ration, just about anything. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> so as you can see, the trucks never stop. And uh, I'm here with uh, Josh Butler. Everybody knows Josh. He's been on a few videos if you follow the channel at all. Yeah. How are you, Josh? Good, how are you? Today, right. it's, today it's Trucker Josh. Trucking Josh. Trucking Josh, yeah. Born in a mountain and raised in a cave. <laughs> Tell us about the silage business. So they're they're chopping it with the harvester, which you'll see that. Um, we're helping these guys out. We've done our own silage video at home there, but uh, 
these guys needed an extra truck to run to keep up with the harvester. It's much better to hire a truck than it is to let that harvester sit there. So it's working pretty good. They're chopping the whole entire corn plant and they'll put it into little pieces and then it'll get packed in a pile and fermented. And then that'll be feed for all next year for them. So um, the corn's about, I think, perfect moisture for them. Nice to see that rain come and kind of cool down a little yeah. bit. Yeah, actually, we're heading into some cooler weather. Yeah, it, it was turning fast yesterday. And today's a lot nicer. We got about a half an inch of rain last night, so we're not filling the whole entire trucks with dust. So. Yeah, well, Jeff was saying silage makes up about half his ration. Yeah, it's a it's a cheap feed. It's economical, so use the whole entire corn plant and this year there's a fair bit of grain in it which is surprising for how dry it was but it's it's just a really good cheap feed and it's healthy for them so and it's versatile you can use it on young cattle and right on, up, on old cows right up to the end yeah. like on finishing so then we have, at home we have cow calf so we'll start the calves on silage when they're you know three months old so, as soon as they'll eat it. Yep. You don't feed them a whole lot, but it's it's cheaper than feeding them grain corn, and a lot better on the on the calves. So. So I'm here with Abe in the claws. Abe's in here having a good time, right, Abe? Yeah. Tell us about this harvester. This one has a kernel processor that's working it. Yeah, we have a kernel processor and we've got it in. Just to crack the kernels. And this head, you can go crossways or with the rows or any way you want to. Yeah, I think you can go any way you want that no takes it in. Uh, do you know how many horsepower this thing is? a lot of horsepower to do this. Yeah. A lot of fuel. Yeah, a lot of fuel. It's amazing the difference you get in these low spots where the corn's two, yeah. two feet shorter, you can hear the idling up. Yeah. It's a lot more up and down than usually this year. Actually, the, the corn's greener than I thought it might have been. That's yeah, not bad. It's uh, so pretty green. It pretty well takes three trucks to keep up to you. Yeah, it takes three trucks to keep up. It takes around uh, six, seven minutes for the fellow load. Oh, you figure you're half done? Uh, I would say close to half, yeah. This thing is hungry. Yeah, it eats a lot of corn. Oh, does it eat corn? Today is driving alongside Abe. 
Dave is a cutting machine. Ground conditions aren't too bad. A little rain last night, keeping the dust down. We got half an inch, but yeah, we uh, we could use was it. Was it dusty yesterday? It was really dusty. Two days ago was worse. Then we got I think two tenths and then another half an inch. So yeah, it was really dusty. So it's good here now. It's not like last year's harvest. Yeah, yeah. If you take dust ahead of mud. And you've got the big mud tires on on this truck, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, it helps. This year it wouldn't matter, but... No. Last year I don't know if it did either, but... <laughs> <laughs> you needed tracks. Yeah, really. She was saying, so you go up the hill? Go up the hill and down the hill. And down the hill. Up the hill and down the hill and repeat. And stay out of Jeff's way. I try to, yeah. Yeah. Just keep going side to side so he'll push up and then I'll push yeah. up in the switch. So it, this is the first year we've done with the extra packer, so it creates less work. He doesn't get so far behind, especially with this new harvester. This so. new harvester puts out a lot it's of silage. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're going a lot quicker. I mean, usually the 150 acres we're doing right now it takes us about a week, and we probably have done like three and a half days. So, moves quicker and takes two more rows. So. Takes more help. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. To keep up with the dump trucks, then uh, the guy right there is isn't sitting there waiting. The, the trucks day. are a big help versus the wagons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. don't go over that edge. <laughs> You can after I get out. <laughs> yeah, you can. Uh, you can't fall asleep doing this job. Well, I've watched a lot of people use different things, and yeah. at the end of the day, another tractor packing is what most oh, yeah. of them do. Yeah. Well, you know what? Pack it better, it keeps better, and it's just all around. So. Yeah. These uh, these big cement blocks we put on are definitely doing something. You can just feel it when you drive too, and like for him, he's not sinking as much after I go over it. So it's fluffy though, where he pushes it up, it's oh, yeah. fluffy. Yeah, I saw you jump, jump on it. So this is uh, where the silage all ends up. Nine thirteen is not camera shy. Are you? She is getting close. Look at the brisket on her. We'll see what's over here. Lots of silage in this ration. I've been out here before and did a cattle video. What they do, basically, they feed once a day and uh, I maybe get back in the winter time again and uh, see some of that silage getting fed. I'll get here at feeding time. But what they use to feed with is this roto mix. And uh, they feed just the one time a day in the morning. And the other thing that they do here 
and which is good they walk these pens every pen gets walked every animal gets a look and that's what you have to do because some of them get laying down off in the corner if they're not feeling well and they walk all these pens make sure and I'll get back in the winter in the, when they're not so busy they're a little busy here today in the, go over the program feeding program and whatnot Jared last time Jared took us around showed us all the feed if you go back in one of our old videos uh, they talked about all the different feed ingredients that they use anyway that's about going to do it for this video it's a little bit different if you liked it give us a like the uh, YouTube kind of likes to they like the likes and uh, that shows brings the video up more often for people to see and that helps the channel out so give us a like if you haven't subscribed be a good time and I'll catch you on the next one